In Power BI, you can build things called tooltips, which allow somebody to hover over and you get some extra information pop up. In this case, I've got a breakdown by cost center. But what if you'd like to be able to toggle what displays in terms of what breakdown you've got? So for example, I can go to location and now hover back over and my tooltip is now displaying by location name. How do you do it? I'll show you how. Let's go. Okay, there's two techniques involved here. Number one, we're gonna create a field parameter. Number two, we're gonna sync that um, slicer of that field parameter with the tooltip page. And I'll show you the steps involved. So step one, we're gonna go to modeling, new parameter, fields. Now this is still a preview feature, been around for years. If you haven't got it here, you need to go into file, options and settings, options, preview features, and then tick field parameters. You will have to restart your Power BI file. Okay, here we go. We're going to go fields, and I'm going to call this uh, tooltip selection. And I want to display cost center name and location name. And maybe I want, let's do something else as well. I will do city. Okay, there's three of them in there. Create. And it drops in this slicer to the page. Now I'm gonna swap this to be the new uh, tile or button slicer. So the button slicer, when I click on this, gives me some way more formatting options. One of the nice options under here is when your button is selected, you can put an accent bar on, you can put the accent bar at the bottom and you can make it a color of your choice. So then when somebody clicks on something, it puts that little bar underneath. Also, I want the fill color to be off. And I am gonna come up here and say call out values on selected. I wanna make the font color black. I'm also gonna make that a bit thicker so there we go. Okay, so quick little sort of overview. You can do all sorts of lovely formatting on, on those new button slices. Okay, I also don't really need the heading, so I'm gonna turn off the title. So there's my little selection panel. Now, here comes the next bit. Create a tooltip page. Okay, this is gonna be called um, Selection tooltip. All right, page information needs to be a tooltip page. All good. And then you go to canvas settings and you can make it whatever size you want by a custom. And I'm going to make it 400 by 350. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to go and copy this slicer. So click. Control C, go in here, Control V, and this is the magic bit. Do you want to sync? Yes, sync. But I don't want this slicer to show. So I go to the View tab. You might need to turn on Sync Slicers if it's not already showing, and then this panel pops out, and it's showing which pages the slicer is controlling and which page it's visible on. So I don't want it to be visible on this page. Okay, and now what do I do? Well, now I can create a little matrix visual. Here we go. And I am going to put into that matrix visual the new tooltip selection. And because I've got city selected over here, it is showing city over here. If I change that to location name, this is now showing location name. So they're synced. Then I just, I'll add a couple of measures in here. So let's add my actual cost and my budget cost, for example. There we go. And again, you can make this layout minimal. 
and you can go to the grid, which is a weird place for the row height to be that's called row padding. And you can fancy it up a bit. You can right click on the actual costs. You can go conditional formatting data bars and maybe add a nice little light blue and so on. Okay, you can do all those sorts of things. But the key thing is that we now go back here and when we hover, we only get a normal standard tooltip. So what you have to do with the visual selected, go to properties and make sure your tooltip is set to trigger the selection tooltip, that extra one we just added. And now when you hover, you get location name. If you change it to cost center name and hover, you get a different tooltip. All right, hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Share this channel, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.